Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel, and we're going to have some fighting words. But before we go any further, you know the routine. I need for you to like this video, and please, please subscribe to my channel. So we got the big fight coming up this weekend with uh, Vasil Lomachenko, and this is his comeback fight. Um, and, I mean, he's got a good enough opponent. Uh, he's got a few losses on his record, but he's got a good enough opponent. Uh, and Richard Comley, and, you know, he's, he's had belts. He's got a belt. Like, he's, he's no walk in the park. Um, I'm just going to break down this fight, what I see. Well, I think this fight is going to be really interesting for just a lightweight division because this is uh, Lomachenko's comeback fight since his show, his, uh, his uh, surgery. So this is going to be interesting because this fight might detail how the, Lo how the Lopez fight would have gone, say, his arm was 100%. Now, I know there are going to be a few people who will be like, well, I think you're pushing it. No, not really. Uh, I looked at the weigh-in. Lomachenko did look better than he normally does. So he doesn't have to cut a whole lot of weight for two reasons. One, he is naturally a small guy. And the other reason is he works out all year round. So he, cutting weight is not going to be a big issue for him. But he did look particularly lean for this weigh-in. And I think it could be for two reasons. One, he really wants his belts back. Uh, and the other reason... If he's 100%, he can do more in training camp, which would make him leaner. So there's your two reasons right there. Um, let me just break down how I see this fight going. So when I look at Richard Comley, he's very, he's flat-footed, uh, and he has a very wide stance. And he he's a slugger, you know. He's a slugger. That's He's that guy. He's He's... He'll put you down. I mean, he's got he's got some knockouts. Like, he'll put you down. He's heavy-handed. Uh, one of the things that I think Lomachenko needs to be aware of, not to be aware of, but be conscious of throughout the fight, is uh, that Comley does have very long arms for the division. His arms are actually very long. So, you know, he's always going to be in range, especially the way Lomachenko pops around. He's always going to be in range. However, I think this fight might even have a, a potential to be a little sloppy, only because Conley does have such a wide stance because he's not going anywhere. He's going to plant his feet and he's going to punch. Um, he's kind of a winger. He'll do some of this. You know, he's a winger. He'll, he'll jab, jab, wing, wing. He's, he's kind of that. So, again, I, I think if Lomachenko just plays it safe, because like I said, this guy is heavy-handed. He does have a lot of knockouts. I think he needs to play it safe, not to mention his, it's his comeback fight, and I think he needs to... You know, I'm pretty sure he's tested himself in, in training camp. But at the same, same time, this guy is heavy-handed. Um, I don't think this guy is prepared for the amount of tricks and traps that Lomachenko is about to set on him. I mean, not the way he stands in fights. I mean, his legs are very wide, and he does throw very wide punches. And I see Lomachenko having fun with this fight. I think this might be like one of those highlight reel type of fights, you know, or he's just going to have rounds or it's going to be like, did you see that? It's going to be one of those, you know, so. Uh, however, 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 this guy does hit hard. However, this guy does have long arms. However, this guy is durable. He's a banger. Um, I don't think Lomachenko can put him down. Well, I take that back. I don't think Lomachenko can keep him down. I think he could put him down. Lomachenko, and I've said this many times, Lomachenko, um, he doesn't hit hard. He just has perfect timing. And if he's setting traps, a lot of times he gets guys to commit to come into him and he can just pop them really quick. And before they know it, they're down. You know, they're off balance and they were in a, an offensive mode at the moment. And before they know it, they're off, they're off their feet. But does he just, is he the guy who's going to crack you one good time? You're going to go off your feet? Absolutely not. He's not that guy. Uh, for that reason, I don't believe Conley is going to be anywhere worried about Lomachenko. I, I I see him falling into the classic Vasil Lomachenko trap, which is trying to walk Lomachenko down. And I've said this many, many, many times. You need to have busy feet in order to beat Lomachenko. Uh, I know you're going to say, well, look at what, what, uh, what Lopez did. Yeah, but Lomachenko had a messed up arm. You know, so that that's my argument for that. He had a messed up arm. We're going to see how good he looks with two working, 100% working arms in this fight. Um, I don't see any reason why Lomachenko can't pull this one off. I don't think it's a walk in a park. I think 
as long as Lomachenko doesn't just stand still, which I think we all know he won't do, I think he's in good. He's in a good, safe place. The minute he gets too comfortable, and you know, like honestly, when I saw Lomachenko do in his fight with Lopez, I was just like, why are you so stationary? Why, why are you allowing this to all to happen here? Normally, what you do is bounce around and you switch angles and. You know, you're, you're, you're very active. He has very active feet. And I, I didn't understand why he was doing that with Lopez. So I just feel like, you know, and I say this all the time, do what got you to the dance. All right, don't don't try to play to the crowd because the crowd can't help you. And believe me, the crowd will leave you as soon as your belts leave you. So don't try to play to the crowd. Play to your strengths. Your strengths are moving. Your strengths are setting traps. You're moving. Your strengths are playing chess, being several steps ahead. Those are your strengths. Work with that. And keep in mind, you got a bull in front of you and Richard Conley, who's definitely going to, you know, come to you. So it's not a thing of where is he going to be at? You know where he's going to be at. He has very wide stance. So wherever he's going to be at, he's not going anywhere. And he's going to try to handle everything right there, wherever he's at. Um, it's, it's, I see a lot of uppercuts with this fight. Um, again, because Richard Conley, he throws a lot of looping shots. I think he does have a good jab, but I don't think he he um, I don't think he believes in his jab that much, and it's actually a pretty good jab. Uh, but he he's not he's not the most active with it, and I think with Lomachenko you need to have an active jab, you need to have a very persistent jab, and if if I think if Richard Conley uses his jab and pushes Vasil Lomachenko back, doesn't doesn't uh, plant himself so wide in the legs. And he just uses his jab and cuts off the ring. I think he has a much better shot. I also think instead of just throwing these looping shots, because you know the thing with uh, knockouts is they're contagious. Once you get one, you just want another one. I think if he doesn't focus on that, if if, if he just focuses on the jab and then goes to the body, I think he's going to have a lot more success with Vasil Lomachenko. Personally, I, I think that would be the way to go. I think Lomachenko could be hurt. I think he could be put down. I think Richard Conley has enough power to do that. I think he's been in enough situations. See, the thing with, see, here's the thing when it comes to fighting. You could have been in enough situations, but you have been in situations with guys who aren't that clever. So let's just say if every guy you've ever fought was like a rough, tough dude, just rugged, you know, just, just a, a club banger. So... In the back of your mind, you would say, well, I got a ton of experience. You got a ton of experience with club bangers. You don't have a ton of experience with, with thinkers. And that's the difference. But Seal Lomachenko is a thinker. So don't get too wild. Have a persistent jab. Cut off the ring. That's the only way you're going to... Do I think these two are in the same class? Not really. But if you want to stay... In the running with Vasil Lomachenko, your jab, cut off the ring. Your jab, cut off the ring. And be consistent with that jab. I can't stress that enough. Do not let Lomachenko get around your legs. He's going to easily get around Conley's legs, and I'll tell you why. Because he has such a wide stance. He can't quickly shift and do something really quick because his, his, his legs are so wide. You know, next time I do a video, I think I'm going to stand up and, and like demonstrate a lot of this stuff. Because I think it's easier, and, and you know, just to get this in your head, that's what he's going to need to do, you know. But like I said, if Lomachenko, the classic Lomachenko, comes, I just see him, you know, having his way with Richard Conley. He, in terms of what Richard Conley brings to the to the uh, to the ring, Vasil Lomachenko has everything he needs in Richard Conley to have a highlight reel. And I, and I mean to do some awesome, cool stuff just in the ring. Because Conley, with all due respect to him, he's a bit of a one-trick pony. You know, he's the type of guy who wants you to get into a slugfest. He wants you to get into a slugfest. He wants you to be like, let's go. You know, uh, skill out the window. Let's go. Let's do it. He wants that. And Lomachenko is not the guy, classic Lomachenko, again, Outside of the Lopez fight, Classic Lomachenko does not want that. Classic Lomachenko should never want that. He has more than enough skill not to ever have to resort to that. 
I think he does have that in him. I think, you know, most fighters, you know, yeah, have that in you. But that is not something you dig into every time you get into a fight. You know, that's how you end your career early. You know, like, honestly, with all, you know, due respect to Sean Porter, that's the reason why he's calling it quits right now. Every fight can't be a dog fight. Some of your fights need to be easy fights. And, you know, if Vasil Lomachenko goes back to classic Vasil Lomachenko, he thinks ahead of time, he uses his feet, he's dancing around Richard Conley, he's, he's hitting him from all different angles, and he's using that uppercut. That uppercut, I believe that uppercut is going to be like gold in this fight. Um, I see his hooks as well, but I, that uppercut, I just feel like it's going to be gold because of the way Richard Conley fights. He's, he's, there's a little bit of defense, but it's, for the most part, it's offense. And that's the type of fight that Vasil Lomachenko loves. So I'm expecting a good fight. I'm expecting a good, hard-fought effort from Richard Conley. But I'm expecting classic Lomachenko to come out and do a little wizardry, as I'd say. Um, but I want to know what you have to think or say about this fight. And as always, please like and please subscribe to my channel.